Is Jacob on his way? Do we know this? Does he have an ETA? I have no idea. Okay. I haven't eaten very much today. Hi! Hello! So, welcome to Table Talk with the Knights of the Drunk Watch. We're kind of small. I mean, that's what we do at Table Talk, right? Yes. Well, yeah. Well, we keep our Table Talk groups really small, small. So, we don't have 20 of us up here all trying to talk at once. Yes, that. Um, so, tonight we have a lot of stuff. That's happening. Mark is going to show the coat of arms for us, and I'm going to talk about feud. And then Jacob, when he gets here, hopefully when he gets here, we'll talk about what is he talking about? I know don't he know. was going to talk about John Wick. I don't know if that's still happening. So nerdy stuff. Nerdy stuff. But we're all talking about nerdy stuff. Very nerdy stuff. So um, we're going to start. Okay. So um, and now and our, our table talk table talk begins. begins. Okay, table talking. Huh. Okay. All right. I'm what do you? Talk- I'm gonna let Mark go first. Oh, am I going first? Yes, because I'm excited. I haven't even seen this. Oh. Yet. Okay. Is my time starting? Would yep. you like to give me moments? Okay. So what I have done is I have designed a an official coat of arms for the Knights of the Drunk Watch. I have a. I don't know if you'll be able to see this at all. It's not important. Okay. So this is just a typical example of when I say coat of arms, what I'm thinking. You know, it's a uh, pretty much like a medieval family crest. Are we having technical difficulties or not? Okay. Okay. Because we'll drink. I'll drink. Jacob is on his way. Yeah. Okay. So just to give you an idea of what different, all pretty much everything on here means is that all coat of arms are generally the same. What's the? I don't know. I didn't plan out what I was going to say. Okay, so the top part is usually it's the crown. But, however, crowns actually sim- symbolize nobility, and we're not nobles. So we don't have a crown. We have a knight head, pretty much. And then there are these supporters, which are usually animals or horses in this case, or they can be figurines or birds. It's not important. And then there is the shield in the middle that has symbols that symbolize certain issues of that family. Not issues. <laughs> <laughs> issues for us. Yes. Well, if... I want to close to the camera for a second. Okay. So generally, like, the symbols, they might have something for religion. I can't get any closer than that. They might have books if they're a very intelligent, knowledgeable family. Yeah. And then, of course, on the bottom, they have the... Their uh, house motto, like, winter is coming, or this one, I don't know, it's in Latin. Usually the motto is in Latin, so you don't always know what it means. Mm. Okay, and then what I have here. Yay! This is the official coat of arms. Andrew, why don't you come over here and hold it? Hold it. Where it can be seen. Yes. So that is, as you see on the top, it says Knights of the Drunk Watch. And then instead of a crown, since we're not nobility, there is a knight Knight. holding up a glass. Uh And then as you can see, there are the supporters are two drunken knights that have had clearly too much to drink and are slacking in their watch. Uh, Along the shield, we have two clinking glasses of wine and a corkscrew because that's a tool that we all need. And then you see the grapes in which they make all the wine. And then in the middle of the crest, it says, what is it? Magus Venum? I'm looking at it backwards. Which is Latin for more wine. And then on the bottom is the motto. Let's see here. Okay. And on the bottom is the motto, et <laughs> Nuts Noster Vigilate Insipit, which is pretty much Latin for, and now our watch begins. Nice. And so I had fun doing that. Um, actually, here, if you want to see, I can show you the... Uh, it's so pretty, guys. Yes, I did lots of research on that, so it is a very official coat of arms. See here, this is my original sketch that's just pencil, and then I pretty much scanned that into the computer... And I used the computer to add the font, and then I printed it out, and then just used Prismacolors to color it. The colors even have meaning. The uh, blue, I I have it written down right here. So the blue on here symbolizes truth and loyalty, 
The green symbolizes hope, joy, and in love. We love wine. We do love wine. And then the red, which is, of course, the color of wine, it symbolizes strength. I actually found out the meaning of these colors after I chose these colors. So it just, that just kind of happened well. to work out that way. Yeah. Um, so we hope to uh, use this in the future as a symbol for our watch and maybe if you send us a couple of bucks we can get merchandising, merchandising. where the real money from the movie is made <laughs> patreon, link in the patreon the link is in the description ish yes zach is shaking his head yes so i'm gonna say yes, yes in the description i'm excited for this i kind of want t-shirt you know we should get like i want a t-shirt yes t-shirts that have like our names on the back or something i'm down for that so mm -hmm. Patreon, patreon.com. Do it so we can do it. Yes, I'm yes. excited. And we will send you t-shirts too. Or coffee mugs. Yes, or, or I don't know. Whatever like you might want a pendants. fun little pendants? symbol on. Pendants could be fun. Yes. Yeah. Pendants. I like pendants. Little Support pendants. us. I like it. Okay, that's about all I have to say. I'm just presenting that. And I think Zach was giving me the time single there. But I'm... All right. Yeah. Moving on. Are you good? Next. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, so I'm here to talk about Feud, which we're very excited about. I know it's in a couple, it doesn't come out for another couple weeks, but we've had a lot of people ask us questions about what we we're going to watch next, and we're all really excited about it. Um, so Feud, in case you don't know, you live under a rock, is about Betty Davis and Joan Crawford and their feud with each other. Um, the show itself is about the backstage shenanigans of these two while now, they were it... filming um, mind, whatever happened to Baby Jane. So it's just during the one movie. It's not like they're It's whole just, no, no, no. It's just during the one movie. I did. And actually, um, while I was doing a lot of research, believe it or not, not a lot of like actual typed up articles, a lot of videos of like, what, here's like a tribute. Of them? Yeah. Well, no, like, here's a tribute of how much they hated each other watching oh. the video. <laughs> um, so, and I'm not going to lie, guys, they really hated each other. Like, I didn't think it was that intense. But, like, Betty Davis had no shame of saying that Joan Crawford slept with every man in Hollywood except for Lassie. So, <laughs> I mean, like, it, it's Well, I mean, come on. If, you, if you've seen Mommy Dearest, it's you should know a bit about Joan Crawford. Crawford and her shenanigans. Um, so, I did, I did find one article, and it's through The Guardian. And I thought they did a very good job about not just talking about the TV show, but also getting the perspective perspective from Susan Sarandon. Can we about, show them that picture? That's I a can. That's a good picture this is a great of photo Betty and Joan. Of them and their... You could just like see it in their eyes how much they did not like, like each other. That is I the, don't know if you can tell from here, but that is it. Is that, that is the look of evil. Am I doing it right? I can't tell, guys. Y'all have to tilt it, down. tilt it down. Is that better? Yeah. Okay. So... I, and quite frankly, between the two, if I it, oh, if I was in the situation of either one, I would have been scared to be Joan Crawford because Betty Davis, between the two, is probably the down. more, or from what I have seen, the more aggressive of the two and the more evil of the two. Anyways, may, may she rest in peace. Um, so the show oh, itself, I know, right? Uh, the show itself actually has a really amazing cast. You have Stanley Tucci in it. Um, Alfred Molina is in it. We a lot of the Ryan Murphy Ryan regulars. Crawford. Yeah, a lot of Ryan Murphy regulars. So you're going to get uh, Kathy Bates and um, Sarah Paulson. Um, Catherine Zeta-Jones. Catherine Zeta-Jones is in this one. Um, Judy Davis is in this. Um, they're really loving Judy Davis in this role. Um, I'm trying to see who else. Allison Wright. Oh, Judy plays Hedda Hopper. Who, which she was the, she was gossip, the gossip columnist. columnist. Yeah, right. so there's a lot of... Hedda Hopper had a feud with another gossip columnist. Season two. <laughs> <laughs> That would be awesome. Um, so it's got a really good cast. And um, I did watch an interview with Susan Sarandon, who, believe it or not, has, you know, recaptured my love for her. Um, now it's synced up. 
Of course it is. Uh, <laughs> has recaptured my love for her um, just from the interviews that she's done so far. It's really interesting because not only apparently not only is the TV show about this feud, but about Hollywood's perspective when it comes to older actresses. So you're going to get the feud between Betty and Joan, and then you're going to get a lot of the backstory of what Hollywood and the... 50s and 60s was looking for from their older actors. Watch Sunset Boulevard if you're not quite clear. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, that's a whole other thing. Um, um, so, and Susan Strandon was, has been really open in all of her interviews about mm-hmm. how um, Ryan Murphy has done a really beautiful job of not just incorporating that one feud, but also, I guess you could say, the feud between the older actresses and Hollywood. So I'm really excited to see mm-hmm. that whole perspective. And um, the other thing that well, was mentioned cause... was that Hollywood actually hasn't changed that much for women since then, since 1962, which is, by the way, when this is taking place. So it is period piece. Um, if you don't know what a period piece is, Google it. Um so I'm excited about Feud. I think yeah. it's going to be really good. So far, everyone who has reviewed it has said it's very Ryan Murphy and it's very interesting. Interesting has been the word du jour with this particular... I know. I, 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 well, I, I just Everybody, had a every interviewer has been like, it's very interesting. So... I don't know what kind of interesting they're talking about. I don't think it's that could a bad be good or bad. I don't think it's a bad interesting though because it's almost like interesting, and they give you that side eye, like you have to watch it. It's interesting. Um, anyways, that's been so far what I have seen. I'm really excited about not just seeing the feud between the two, but also some of the background story with Hollywood and the older actresses, just to see. Well, when when the title is Feud, but now that you're saying, yeah, it goes a lot about just Hollywood in general, so Mm -hmm. maybe the feud itself is not just the two women. There's probably lots of other feuds going Going on on as well. But we'll find out. I'm very excited about it, and I will stay in touch Mm -hmm. with all of the updates and everything going on. I will tell you that if you go onto YouTube, they have 21 different, like, 10 to 15 second promos of the show. So you can watch yeah, any of those promos. We sequence, right? Oh, we do have the title sequence? Mm-hmm. Oh, on our Facebook, the Zach pa- Baxter, Zach Baxter Facebook page, um, we have the title sequence for oh, yeah, Feud already. Cool. <laughs> I know, I saw it earlier today. So We are going to, since, you know, we try to have somewhat different drinking games with all the shows we watch. I mean, we always have the basic, oh, okay, if there's death or sex or whatever. But uh, I think with this show, we're going to drink every time there's feuding going. Feuding. Going on. <laughs> yeah. I feel like it should be She's every time. She's going to waterfall the entire time. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. I feel like every time Joan Crawford says Betty Davis is fat, you have to drink. Because and every time they throw an insult at each other. Yeah, because apparently Feuding. Joan Crawford often said that Betty Davis was overweight and old enough to be her mother. Or looked old enough to be her mother, excuse me. And then she did Betty look Davis, old in that movie. Yeah, and then Betty Davis, of course, just always threw that she's having sex with everybody in Hollywood singer to Joan Crawford. So um, I would share more about their zingers to each other, but I'm actually out of time. So if you're really interested, there is a Guardian article that I found very interesting that had an entire page of the zingers they threw at each other. So go check out the we'll Guardian. The we will have that link in the description below. We're live streaming on March 8th. We are live streaming on March 8th. We're live streaming on live March streaming 8th. Live streaming what? Feud. Oh. We're very excited. I, I'm really excited about it. I love these actresses, and I cannot wait to see it. It's going to be awesome. I'm mm-hmm. done. <laughs> All right, Jacob, it's your turn. Hey. All right, so I'm here to, uh, for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm Jacob. That's Jacob. How's it going, Brave Squires? Scooch this way. Oh, I need to scooch this way? Yes. How much do I need to scooch? We have to love each other, Have basically. I scooched enough? Ooh, I'm All right, a sandwich. Cool. So I'm here to talk about the Nintendo Switch, which, for those of you who are Nintendo fanboys, know it's coming out next month, so don't have very much. Uh, actually, it's coming out on the 3rd, so we only have really a couple weeks. Um, all right, so we don't know a t- Hun about it. Uh, they've been a little bit more forthcoming with facts about it, like in the last like month or so. 
All right, so one of the big questions that always came up was, what exactly is it? So the story is apparently they decided to take, they had one development team for their home console, which was the Wii U, one development team for their portable console, which is the 3DS, and they've decided to combine them and throw them all at the Switch. So people weren't really sure what that meant for the other two consoles, because even after it announced, they hadn't announced uh, what they were doing with the Wii U. The Wii U is a, was officially uh, ended, I believe, back in November. So the last game to come out for the Wii U will be uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, which releases on the same day as the Wii U, as the Switch. Um, the 3DS, as far as we know, it being their most successful console, is going to continue having games made for it. Um, so that should proceed concurrently with the Switch, which is probably in Nintendo's best interest. All right, so the Switch itself is essentially both a portable and a home console. You can dock it at home and it will stream essentially HD to your TV, or you can remove the tablet, hook the controller piece like ends to it, essentially two Wiimotes more or less, and you can take it with you as a portable console. Technology. Um, yeah, right? it's pretty cool. So that being said, one of the biggest questions that came about with its announcement was battery life because that's the biggest thing for a portable console how long mm -hmm. can i actually play it Concurred. so they've announced that the battery life for it should be about six hours but it's also dependent on exactly what game and exactly how intensive it is of what you're doing so one of the things <laughs> that was shown in the release trailer was elder scrolls uh skyrim so they've said that that game alone, or for instance, Zelda Breath of the Wild, should probably cut the battery life down to about two to three hours. Mm. I yeah. have a Pandora so, station yeah, that's for Elder pretty, that's Scrolls. That's pretty brutal. Yeah. Um, but they said if it's something less demanding, then six hours should be the like end of the battery life. So what would be considered less demanding then? Um, Tetris? I, well, <laughs> that's what I was well, going to yeah. say. I mean, one of the big things is probably going to be um, the Nintendo eShop. So you should okay. be able to buy like other smaller games and things like that for it. Um, they've shown a few games. Uh, a lot of them are first party at this point. Mm -hmm. One of the few third party games that they've shown so far, besides for Elder Scrolls, would be Ultra Street Fighter 2. Just in case you need another version of Street Fighter 2, awesome. now you're going to have one. With two more characters, you get Evil Ryu and Violent Ken. Yes. Yeah, so... I, I used to Street play that game on Sega Genesis. That's right. Yeah. yeah. All right, so Sega. there's those. Um, but yeah, re realistically, this could end up going the way of the Wii U and not being very successful. People were kind of hesitant to like jump on the bandwagon. Yeah. But of course, there's tons of people that just love Nintendo. They're like, Nintendo, shut up and take my money. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So I'm sure they will absolutely sell out. If you want one, you better be at the store as soon as mm -hmm. they release. Because um, pre-orders sold out within like a day, if that. Holy shit. Oh, can um, I say that? I'm sorry. Okay, whatever. Good. I don't know if I can. Beep. All the dick jokes are Yeah, out. pretty much. I just wanted to make sure. All right, so also in Nintendo news, there's the Wii Mini Classic. For all of you who wanted that, because that's still a pretty hot item, um, they ha there's been some controversy in the last like week or so. Um, apparently, uh, someone on the internet, mm -hmm. um, said, not the internet. Yeah, I know. Said that dun, the dun, dun. that Nintendo would actually be ending production of the Nintendo Classic uh, in May. So Nintendo came on and said, "No, that's not true. We're going to keep on making some." And apparently this also, the exact same thing happened with the Wii U. And mm. then two weeks to a month later, Nintendo also just changed their mind and said, oh, by the way, the Wii, the Wii U is done. Mm -hmm. So at this point, people, it could really go either way. We have to wait and see like a couple more weeks to a month to see if Nintendo actually holds true to their last statement, which is that they will keep on making the classic. Mm. All right. Interesting. So I think that's about all for the Nintendo um, have to wait for third-party support to see where the, what's going to happen with the Switch. What, 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 was the okay. <laughs> what was the question? What was the question? Andrew, who's sitting in the room, wants to know: Is this replacing the Wii? The Wii or the Wii U? It's the a Wii. Wii. The, the Wii, Wii been replaced a hundred years ago. The, the Wii already got replaced. Okay. That that yeah, yeah, yeah. that done got replaced like 
four he or five years ago. He still has his Wii. Okay, oh. but I, the, I still the, have my the Wii, Wii, too. The Wii U replaced the Wii. I thought so, but I didn't understand what that was. The Wii, Wii, the Wii, 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 Wii U replaced, um, replaced it 100% essentially because you could actually play all of the Wii games and use all the Wii peripherals uh, yeah. on the Wii U. So it was essentially just a better Wii. And so this Without is actually, I take that back. It didn't without have, actually it being didn't a better Wii. Have GameCube support, so you couldn't play uh, GameCube games on it. So that was one of the downfalls. But the later Wii models didn't support that either. Yeah, that's true. Um, so, sorry, so we stop him from going, going in there. Replace in the Wii U Wii system. Yeah, yeah. So mm. the Wii, the Wii, and the Wii U are completely. You don't need to go in there. Um, all right. The so the also, John Wick two. All right, so if you haven't seen John Wick 1, I, I would recommend going and seeing it, because if you are looking for an action movie, it's pretty badass. I've heard. Uh, go, go find a streaming service, or yeah, download it. Legally. 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 Would you I'm not going to, I'm going to rent it on Amazon Netflix. Link yeah. in the Amazon link Legally in the description. Legally find it. But it's a really good movie. Uh, it is an action movie. It's not trying to be anything else besides for that. There's no deep plot. There's a couple cool, like, interesting ideas in it. But there's no real deep plot for it. It's an action movie. And it does that very well. All right, so the second one. You don't necessarily have to see the first one to go see the second one. Mm -hmm. um, you might kind of miss out on a few of the nuances and some of the ideas are like, elaborated upon in the first movie. But realistically, I've added it the, to my DVDs. The plot oh. of the first movie is more or less explained in oh, the first yeah. ten to fifteen yes. minutes section of the Wait, movie, I still get which kind of wraps topics. up like a that. few of the like one of the like loose plot points from the first movie, more or less. Then it goes on to this entire other thing, and basically, what it comes down to is John Wick is just the badass of badasses. So he goes around and like, if you want to see some dudes get shot in the face and or dick, then go um, <laughs> go watch John, John Wick Two yeah. and One. Ooh. Both of them uh, have a lot of that. Um, so yeah, it's just basically he's an assassin. After watching the movie, I've come to realize that apparently ninety percent of the people that live in New York are probably assassins, <laughs> and I should probably watch my back when I go. That there. makes sense. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but just amazing action movie. Keanu did a bunch of training. You. I'm sure you could go look up some of his training videos on YouTube. Well, he needs something to distract from his acting. Uh, yep, uh, I said it. Uh, oh, oh, burn. <laughs> also on Keanu News, apparently I think they're actually talking about making another uh, Bill and Ted movie, if anybody's interested. That was Bill his Ted. greatest role of all time. That's true. Mm. It, it created, it forged him from the fires <laughs> of Bill and Ted. He was forged. <laughs> Actually, you know, it was Speed that made him a star because yeah, back then true. when he just was famous for Bill and Ted, they were offering Speed, the movie Speed, the movie. To, uh, and also probably actual Speed. Yeah, to like Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sylvester Stallone, Jason Segel. Wait, is that his name? Steven Segel. Steven Segel. Okay, uh, I thought yeah. you were going to say Statham. No, he Statham no he wasn't anyone. Yeah, he wasn't he did born. Not, yeah, yeah. no, they offered it to all of like the not big acting. top action stars Alternate of facts. the time, Alternate. and everyone turned it down. Keanu was the only one who would take it, but mm -hmm. hey, it made his career. It really did. I agree with that. That's what shot him up. The Even story. though I'm not gonna lie, guys, I remember Keanu from Parenthood. Does anybody remember Keanu? From Parenthood? Oh yeah, he's like the teenage That's boy. That's what I remember. He's a teenage boyfriend. Oh gosh. That's what I remember him from. Anyways, sorry. Right. All right. Click, um, subscribe. click subscribe. Are we done? Is that I it? I believe so. Yeah. Okay. I think so. Everybody's good? Click Everybody's subscribe. Good? Subscribe. Go to patreon.com. Send us a dollar. Send us a dollar. Or two or, or three. Or five or six or 12. However many you like. Um, also, when we are live streaming, there's the live chat button thingy. What's it called? Super chat. Super chat. The more you give us, the more we drink. That's all I'm gonna say. If you oh, want, it's not the more we definitive. Chat. No, uh, the, I'm it's not gonna give you the definitive. Okay. Um, if you want to see the breakdown of how much you give versus how much we drink, you can see it in the descriptions when we do go live. And yeah, I'm excited about the new coat of arms, and I'm also excited about Nintendo because yeah, I love Walking Dead. Walking right. Dead is oh, at yeah, ten. We're watching live stream at ten. Live stream at ten. Oh. I was hoping we're watching. Me, watch Crystal will be on the chat, moderating the chat. Um, and after shows at eleven fifteen. Thank you for reminding me of all this stuff. 
And yeah, then we'll be back on Wednesday for Taboo. And you can watch us drink some more. Watch Yay. us drinking lots. Woo. So is everybody ready? Click subscribe. Click subscribe. And you will get notifications of mm-hmm. when all of the all the times that we go live and all the times that Zach will actually post videos of us, you know, reacting and whatnot. Anyways, that's all. I'm ready. Are you ready? Okay, yeah, we're all right. All right. Um, and now, now our, our chat, our chat, our chat table talk, our table talk, our <laughs> our table talk. We're done like, talking no, now. And now our talk is ended. Yeah, and our talk oh, is ended. Talk. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Get him right.